so now let's uh, uh, pay for the invoices which we created so there are multiple ways to uh, uh, issue the payments so uh, Okay, so first is pay in full from invoice page. Invoices work area, that is one option. Second is uh, quick payment. And third is payment batch. Okay, so this using this functionality pay a single invoice in full you cannot partially pay the invoice and it is like you cannot select multiple invoices only one invoice and that too full payment will be issued this is you are paying multiple invoices for a single supplier okay so that is a, a like quickly paying for us uh, for all the invoices for a supplier or multiple invoices for a supplier you will use this quick payment and this is payment batch so multiple invoices multiple suppliers based on selection criteria so same as what we have in EBS okay so these are the three options for payment so let's uh, uh, try one by one so go to invoices work area and uh, open uh, any invoice invoice action pay in full so uh, to pay an invoice it must be approved or approval is not required and it must be validated it is not necessary that uh, invoice must be accounted for payment so without accounting also it can be paid okay uh, pay in full So bank account and the payment method is check payment process profile so select the PPR or PPP that is payment process profile payment document so we had created two documents why we are not getting any document to check we should get uh, something in this payment document Yes, this uh, uh, pay in full functionality, uh, this will override the payment term, payment method, uh, like it will override the payment term, you are paying immediately.
Just give me two minutes, sir. I'm checking something. Okay, so I suspect uh, this payment uh, process profile we had selected as a printed uh, that electronic. So that's why it was giving this issue. But we'll see that. Uh, okay, so here you need to select all these things and it will uh, generate that payment file. Okay, that payment file we can see from schedule processes. There will be a process uh, format payment files that will be triggered and we can see the output of that request. Ideally, we should have a validation that when I am selecting EFT or electronic payment as method, then if bank account is not there, it should fail. But currently, there is no such validation we have created, so it is still processing. But ideally, that should be the case. We should create some validation that if bank account code supplier bank account is not there then this particular payment method cannot be used so let's see the output file so this is the uh, I think it is a BI 20 or 820 file. Okay. So, some place like here it should be account code or something. So, because we haven't got that, so it is, it has created, but this will not be processed because bank account information is missing. But this is how you will uh, run that, uh, uh, like you will pay this invoice in full. So uh, we cannot, uh, uh, like on that window, there was no option to partially pay this. Like entire amount will be paid and now the status here is paid. Okay. Now, how do we void this payment? So sometimes like this payment is issued by mistake or uh, like a transmission there was some problem or if it is a check and not printed properly so we want to void it so how do we void it go to this payments tab here uh, on top payments go to right menu and manage payments either you select uh, by uh, like you can search by supplier or payment date disbursement bank account so you can provide any of the fields which are marked with double star okay say ma2804 and search now this payment is selected uh, We can see the details of this payment, uh, which invoice is paid as part of this invoice. Okay, click on done. If we want to void it, uh, click on void. So let's first do the accounting and see which all accounts are hit. So liability and cash clearing account these two accounts are hit uh, this is not hitting the cash account directly 
because in payment option we have said like accounting should be done at the time of payment as well as after clearing so that's why it is hitting this clearing account okay let's uh, do the accounting in final okay and now uh, if we want to void we can void this payment okay so invoice action cancel the invoice place hold on the invoice so we can select that and submit so it will be voided okay after void also it will generate an accounting entry to reverse that void part okay so it will generate those reversal entries after voiding <coughs> so this is uh, uh, the flow for pay the invoice in full single invoice full payment now let's see the quick payment where we are paying multiple invoices for a supplier okay so let's see do you have to post to ledger again to send reversal to gl yes that will be taken care by the system through create accounting so uh, i just did it uh, uh, to show the reversal of that gl entry but uh, you can submit create accounting and system will automatically perform the accounting for all the transactions whether it is invoice cancellation or it is uh, 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 payment void or pay original payment creation so system will take care of all those okay something wrong with this browser so let me close it and come back chrome some issue So now we will pay, uh, pay through quick payment. Okay, so I am in uh, payments window, not loaded fully. something wrong with this page let me try in different browser Okay, so from this right menu, click on create payment. Okay, so this is the selection criteria. Here, selection is based on business unit. So, uh, I had got one question in certification like quick payment whether you can do it based on ledger or legal entity so no only based on business unit you can do this okay selection
here supplier or party is mandatory so uh, like we cannot pay for multiple suppliers in this option Here type is manual, quick or refund. So uh, manual and uh, like you have issued a payment manually outside the system and you just want to record it in the system. So you will use manual as an option. Quick payment like it will generate a payment file and based on your transmission configuration or check configuration, it will be transmitted or printed. 